going on you guys appreciate you guys being back here for another video as you can see here today we've got another bike video um, this is a bike made by the company bike on it this is a bike on it MD 750 and what that pertains to is we've got a mid-drive motor instead of uh, like all my other reviews that I've done uh, rear hub this has a mid-drive motor with 750 watt output and it's also a dual battery you can see it's got one down below here and one up above and i'm just going to take you through do a quick overrun of some of the specs on this thing but the most important part is how this thing performs out in the field uh going through the woods driving down the road and using it for hunting actually going to take it tomorrow uh tomorrow's opening day of turkey season and we'll be taking it on a trip uh into the woods uh down the road here and see how it performs riding through the trails and um, give you a quick overrun here and we'll go from there all right guys just doing a quick overview here uh, like i mentioned earlier we've got a top battery and a bottom battery this would be a 48 volt 30 amp with a max range of 60 to 70 miles one thing that stood out to me the first time that i rode this was this bike actually uses four piston hydraulic brakes and man, once you really squeeze on the brakes, you can really notice how much stopping power this thing has. Really impressed with the, the brakes on this and the torque. So this bike is a class two bike and it's got a 20 mile per hour max speed. But one thing that I've noticed with this mid drive motor is how much torque it has. So, you know, it it's, does a much better job of going up hills um, pull, it's going to do better at pulling a little more weight than your standard rear hub motor. The components on this thing are pretty top end. We've got SRAM XS rear derailleur. You can see here we've got a uh, SRAM shifter as well. Really like this. One nice thing about this bike, because of the torque, whenever you shift through the gears, it actually cuts the power off to the motor so it shifts a little bit smoother just because there's so much torque coming from the mid drive compared to what you normally get out of the rear hub motors just a beefy beefy looking bike thing does awesome in the woods of course um, it's got adjustable shocks you can either lock out the shock on the front or you can unlock it so you know it absorbs some of the recoil some of the ground impact when you're hitting the trails got a good front light you can also get this with a, a front basket just mount up here go through the control panel here you got your power button light control uh, toggle through your different information settings and plus and minus for your pedal assist so we'll turn it on here hold that down kind of a little bit bright out here see if you guys can see that video is probably gonna make it look like it's flashing but that's just the frame rate anyway there's the control panel digital display and then here is your throttle overall just a, a really solid bike this is just my uh, clamp that I put on that I'm getting ready to take off uh, that's how I mounted my going to mount my GoPro. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys some footage of how I've been riding it. And then tomorrow we'll actually take this to the woods and uh, do a turkey hunt. Like I said, I'm not going to go over every spec on this. I'm going to link this down below in the description. So you guys can take a look at it there, see all the specs, see the ordering info. And um, always check the comments because I'll throw, if there's any codes or anything like that to get you guys money off, um, I'll make sure and put that as a top comment and I'll put it in the description of this video as well If you guys want to take a look at it there and if they provide me any codes or update the codes occasionally I'll always keep that updated here on the video so you guys can use My code if they provide you one and save you some money
got the bike parked here. I'll walk up this way and try to call for some turkeys. About 10.30. Go up here and see if any turkeys will answer us. I've sat here and called for probably 45 minutes. Nothing's responded. It's getting about about noon, so I'm going to call it quits for the day. It's just opening day, so lots of season left. Um, but you guys could see there how we got in on that bike. Yeah, I drove the bike in to probably 200 yards, something like that. I don't like to drive it in right on top of my spot, of course. Um, but getting in the truck, putting all your stuff in the truck, and then getting it out of the truck, closing doors, parking out the road, and that bike's just so handy. I walked 200 yards from where the bike is, drove the bike, you know, probably a mile, something like that. Uh, super handy. I need to clear some trees out of my path, as you can see there, but we're going to call it quits for the day, head back to the bike, and head home. You guys have seen on other bike videos, one of my trail cameras is right up here, as well as my mineral site. So we'll grab this trail camera and take it home.
there it is guys you guys can see how this thing performs in the woods uh, riding through fields just this thing just does awesome it's, like I keep mentioning it's got so much torque here with the mid-drive motor overall just a very solid bike very well put together great top end components on it dual batteries um, mid-drive motor 750 watt provides tons of torque compared to your rear hub motors overall super happy with it really good bike and uh, take a look down below there'll be a link in the description to this bike and like I said earlier if there's any uh, discount codes that they provide me I'll make sure and put those there as well as the top comment on this video um, but overall take a look at it check out the website check out all the specs uh, great people to deal with and an awesome product so any questions comment down below happy hunting be safe see you on the next one bye